David. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. I don't know. It's been three hours, so I don't know if you've heard, but I asked Dave's earlier about you and uh, some of the other receivers pushing to make a roster spot here, and he said they're not just pushing to make a roster spot. They're pushing to play. I'm wondering what your reaction is as a guy who's been here for three years and hasn't had a lot, a lot of opportunities to play. What in, your reaction is to hearing that? Uh, I mean, yeah, that's that's uh, definitely something that's awesome to hear. Um, but you know, there, there's there's constant competition in training camp. Uh, I think we've had good good uh, competition in our room uh, this whole training camp, and you know, we've got another week uh, of competing against the Jets. You know, have a joint practice with them, so. I'm just going to try to put my best foot forward this week, um, you know, carry into the game and, um, you know, hopefully uh, everything will work its way out from that. So, I'm, you know, I'm, I'm just going to continue to do the same thing that I've been doing this whole training camp, um, you know, and, and try to go out there and, like I said, make plays and put my best foot forward. How much do you think uh, living in Daniel's pocket all off season helps you guys in terms of your chemistry. Cause it seems like when he's in trouble, he's really looking for you and that can't be, that must go back to February and March, April, all that stuff. Yeah. I, mean, I, de I definitely don't think it hurts, but, um, you know, we, we definitely have been able to, um, build a good connection over the last couple of years. Um, you know, and I think, uh, you know, it's been, it's been paying off out there in practice and, uh, you know, in the game the other day, uh, you know, he, he kind of knows where I'm going to be. I know where the ball is going to be. So, um, you know, it's it's definitely uh, something that we put a lot of time in uh, to get to this point. But um, like I said earlier, it's 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 not um, like the job's finished. We still have another week of training camp and, uh, you know, just looking to get better and compete. Um, you know, Dave says that that's what he wants is guys that are going to compete every day. Um, you know, and I feel like we've got a good group of guys that are uh, willing to do that and always trying to put their best foot forward every day. Thanks, Dave. Bachman and Webb are giving you guys a run for your money, though. That that seemed like a pretty good connection. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, it, that was awesome to watch. Um, you know, I was so happy for, for both of them. Um, you know, that whole, that whole group played, um, you know, great together. Uh, and, and Bachman has, you know, he, he's, he's been here basically the same amount of time as I have. So, um, you know, it's, it's really good to see. Uh, him performed really well, uh, and, and you could tell that there was a lot of um, excitement over him making plays because he's been here, um, you know, for a while and and has a relationship with a lot of guys on the team. So it was very good to see that. Um, you know, exciting all around the locker room was, um, you know, awesome after the game. So uh, it, it was very exciting to see that. Paul Schwartz. Hey, David. Hey, how you doing? Good, good. Um, is there anything that you could say from your background as a former quarterback that helps you with a connection with, with Daniel? Um, language, communicating, knowing what he wants, him knowing what you want. Is there anything to that? Yeah, I mean, I, I definitely think that, um, you know, kind of plays a part into it. But, uh, you know, at this level, I think um, there's been uh, a communication for so long that um, you know, we're kind of on this, on the same, um, you know, speaking the same language and things and he's seen it so much. I've seen it so much, um, you know, between each other, you know, throwing, whether it's in Charlotte or, um, you know, just up here in the off season. Um, you know, I think we just have a good understanding of where I'm going to be, where, where the, where the ball is going to be. But like I said, it's not perfect. You know, we, it's something that we, that we're still, uh, continuing to try to get better at. Um, you know, and I think there was some plays in the game that I could have did better at, um, you know, last night. So uh, it's definitely a, a good connection there. Um, but I think uh, there's still some areas we can improve on and I can improve. Um, you know, so I'm going to be looking forward to doing that this week. Uh, one more. Um, and and when, when, you know, there is a, 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 a misunderstanding or a misconnection. You don't run the route the way he, he thought you were going to. Uh, you drop a ball, you know. I mean, all these things happen. What do you see from Daniel? Do you ever see him get upset, frustrated? Um, you know, he doesn't grab your collar, I'm sure. But, uh, you know, what what is his mechanism to show his displeasure with a receiver? Yeah, I mean, I it, it, I, I don't really see it. I mean, I, I we kind of mess around with each other. And, 
Um, you know, during during the game, it's you know, it's kind of all business. Like, hey, you know, I need you to make that play, or uh, I think you should do this. Think you should do that, and it's a good communication. You know, I've never I've never seen him. Um, you know, have a have a side to where, uh, you know, he was upset or something like that. But you know, he definitely when we come to the sideline, he definitely has a conversation with. Um, me or another receiver about what he saw, what he thinks we could do differently, which, um, you know, I definitely think uh, are, are things you see in a great quarterback, you know, being able to have that conversation of how to fix it on the fly, um, you know, about what he thinks he saw. And it's not just a one way street. It's it's what I saw. It's what, um, you know, he thinks it's what, you know, what whatever receiver he's talking to thinks, um, you know, and it's it's a discussion more than anything else. So. Um, and I, I think that's, you know, really the biggest thing about how to get it figured out about, you know, how we can do it better the next time. And Benny will say to you at some point, I need you to catch that ball. Uh, I mean, maybe joking around after the game or something like that, but he's never like on the sideline, like I need you to catch that ball. But, um, you know, we, uh, he, we hold each other to a high standard. So even, even if it's not said, you know, we know that, um, you know, we need to make the play, so. Thank you. Tom Rock. David, as someone who does have a, a close working connection with Daniel, as, as we've just discussed for the last 10 minutes, um, what, do you, what do you see uh, from, from Daniel working with Kenny? Because it seems like they're, they're not quite there yet. What, what, what's missing there and, and what needs to be done to get, to get that combination clicking the way the way you and Daniel do yeah I mean I I think uh their relationship has definitely grown over the last um year or so that Kenny's been here my relationship's grown with Kenny I think um you know we all are pushing each other to be as as good as we can be and you know I think it, it does take uh a little while to figure out you know the strength and weaknesses of a receiver what everyone's good at what everybody's um, you know, still need to work on. But, you know, I, I've definitely seen a, a great progression in, in those two's connection, um, you know, over this training camp. Um, you know, so I'm looking forward to how that progresses throughout the season, um, you know, and in the future. So I think they're they're definitely, uh, you know, getting getting uh, a feel of each other more and more as, as uh, training camp goes on, um, you know, and I, I'm excited to see, uh, you know, what happens in the future. Excited to play the Jets Absolutely. Thursday. Absolutely. Thursday. What are you guys? What are you guys talking about as you, as you get closer to that joint practice? You've had, you had a couple last year uh, on the road. This is them coming to your place. Yeah, I mean, it, last year going on the road, it, you know, it was a different deal, and now now uh, you know this year it's only going to be like the one joint practice. But I'm excited for it. Um, you know, they're last year the the two we had were very high intensity. Um, you know, and and you know this game. Uh, you know, means a lot to our organization, means a lot to our ownership. So, um, you know, we take it very seriously around here. So we're excited about it. Um, you know, it's, uh, it's, it's something that, especially going and, and practicing against them, you know, having somebody different across the line of scrimmage, um, you know, is something that's uh, going to be a good time uh, going against their defensive backs and, um, you know, their defense as a whole. We have time for one more. Ryan Donlevy. David, I just wanted to ask you about take out Kadarius and Kenny and all the other guys. Who, so all the other receivers who are fighting for a roster spot. If you look around that room, do you see like a lot of different flavors, so to speak? Like there's the tall guy, the, the quick slot guy, the special teams guy, the hands guy. Like, do you see that as a room that everybody kind of has a different expertise, if that makes sense? Yeah, I mean, I think we're all very, very, um, you know, different receivers. Everybody in the room, um, you know, has has different strengths and different things that they can uh, keep getting better at. I mean, even m myself, there's there's areas of the game that, uh, I need to improve on, and and uh, I think if you asked anybody in our room, they they would say the same thing. But um, you know, it it is it's, it's super fun to be able to be in a room with all those guys where you know you're looking to improve your game, and you can look at some of these other guys where they have some um, you know attributes that maybe you're trying to add to your game, and you can ask them and kind of pick their brain about um, you know what they thought on this or what how they do that. 
and you know just different things like that so um, definitely having a very versatile room is, is cool for you know me at least because um, you know I'm, I'm definitely looking to improve my game in every way that I can um, you know so having having all these uh, different types of receivers um, you know is, is very cool to be able to kind of pick their brain thanks David you're all set thank you